Now that we've created our first app, before we move on, we're actually going to make a small refactor. You can imagine if we write everything inside of script tags, it's going to get very difficult to manage. Fortunately, there is a better way. What we're going to do is move all of this content to our index.js file. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to my index.js file, which is currently empty, and I'm going to copy paste all of this over. The next thing I'm going to do is update my script tag, and instead of just having type, we're also going to have a source attribute, and we're going to point this one to our index.js file. If I now save this off and head over to my browser and refresh, you can see everything is still working exactly the same, but it's going to be a whole lot easier to manage things if we have a number of JavaScript modules we can import and export. The next thing we're going to see is how we can move this template into our JavaScript file as well and keep everything in the same place. So what I'm going to do is grab this person, bring it over here, and we're going to add a template key. And this is going to let us have our markup inside of the create app call. I'm just going to put person in here and we're just going to put a P tag around it for now. And if we go ahead and save this one off, head back to the browser and refresh if we have to, we can see that it's all still working as expected, but now we're able to keep our template and our data all in the same place. Vue actually takes this one step further with the concept of an SFC, which stands for single file component. And that doesn't just let you have the template and the data in the same place, it also lets you have the style sheets in the same place as well. And we're going to be using it heavily in the second part of this course. Anyway, we've now seen we can put template and data in the same place. And in the next video, we're going to see some ways how we can actually manipulate and interact with this data.